Fight fans, the week is here. Floyd Mayweather versus Miguel Cotto, Cinco de Mayo, the biggest fight of the year. We're going to be covering the press conference, the weigh-in, and the fight on Saturday night. This Wednesday, they had the press conference and they had explosive comments for each other. Here's what they had to say. You know, come May 5th, I'll be at my best. You know, I've been here so many times, so I know what it takes. I don't have to uh, brag, I don't have to boast, you know. Um, you know, Cotto, like the trainer said, Cotto is really not a talker. You know, me, myself, you know, I'm outgoing, I'm outspoken. I have a lot of personality, so that's just me. I like to talk over the ring. Um, I had a tremendous camp in Orlando. I feel pretty good, and I pretty trust in Pedro. I trust in every member of my team, and I trust, most importantly, in myself. Día cinco, van a ver un nuevo Miguel Cotto y un... Miguel Cotto, ganador. The 5th of May, you will see a victorious Miguel Cotto, a new Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto, he's a very classy champion. He has been for a number of years. But to his trainer, you're right, talk don't win fights. Fighters do. Okay, and last I checked, Miguel Cotto's fighting Floyd Mayweather. So keep your opinion to yourself, and come Saturday night, we'll see who comes out victorious explosive comments from both fighters. I was able to get them each individually. Here's what they had to say. We're here live with Floyd Mayweather. It's been about 15 years since I've interviewed you. Back in the wee days, you've accomplished a lot of great things. You are now the pound for pound. I was wondering, what's more important to you, your undefeated streak or making money? Uh, well, you know, just going out there performing. You know, the, the main thing is really, I mean, of course, when you get to this level, you're gonna make money. You know, you got to this level, by doing something right. You know, Miguel Cotto got this level by doing something right. And, um, you know, it's about Hall of Fame legacy. It's about making money. It's about your fans. And it's about being the best. Your promotion, like you said, has done an amazing job. And everyone talks about the two kings that will be in the ring. But do you think you have the best king opponent? Uh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely, because he's a guy, I mean, he worked hard. Uh, he worked hard, he worked from the ground up the same way I did. And uh, nothing about Miguel Cotto is tainted or nothing about Miguel Cotto is questioned. You know, he worked his way from the, from the bottom to the top. So would that be saying that Pacquiao wouldn't be the best king for you? Uh, uh, Mayweather Cotto, May 5th, fight you can't miss. There you heard it, thank you very much. They might be upstaged in the undercard. We have Canelo Alvarez versus Sugar Shane Mosley. That is set to be one of the most exciting fights of all time. You're gonna have Canelo, who's gonna be the young and up and coming fighter, going up against the legend, Sugar Shane Mosley. Here's what they had to say at the press conference and it's gonna be followed up by individualistic interviews. Estoy listo, me preparé muy bien para un rival como Mosley. ¿Qué se puede decir de un peleador como Mosley que lo ha ganado todo? Un gran peleador. Me siento muy contento, para mí es un honor pelear con él, eh, es un sueño, pero más es un sueño vencerlo, estoy listo para, para el sábado, para todo lo que se presente en el ring, estoy listo para la guerra. You know, this is going to be a great fight, I mean, I'm, I'm in great shape, I'm ready, I'm ready to rock and roll, you know, it's not like a broken record, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, no, I'm, I'm really ready, and um, yeah, like I said, I thank Canelo for the opportunity, uh, to be able to fight for the title because, um, or in Golden Boy, because he didn't really have to accept uh, the fight. He could have fought uh, somebody else and uh, maybe had an easier time, but uh, he wanted to test himself and see if he's really uh, among the elite fighters. And, um, you know, this is, if you will, the, the golden opportunity. Canelo, 5 de mayo, una tradición muy grande para los mexicanos. ¿Cómo te sientes pelear en este día? No, me siento muy contento, muy orgulloso de representar a mi país este día tan importante para nosotros y pues más con un rival como Mosley, ¿no? Una gran pelea, un día importante para mí y pues eh, siendo yo, somos todo México, todo México que está detrás de mí, eh, me siento muy contento. Muchísimas gracias, buena suerte. Here with Sugar Shane, Hall of Famer. You have had such a great career. You have always been classy and eloquent. Why take a fight of this caliber with such a young lion at this point in your career? Uh, the fight was offered to me, and um, so I, I, I accepted it. And, you know, he's a young tiger, but uh, I feel that he's very beatable, uh, especially even at my age, and I'm ready to go. You have always been a fan favorite. 
How's it going to feel or are you ready to anticipate all the booze because of the Mexican Cinco de Mayo fans that are going to be there for Canelo? You know, I really don't expect any booze, but if it, if it happens, okay. But I went to Mexico City and uh, I, the crowd was chanting Mosley. So I'm happy to have the respect of the Mexican, uh, of the Mexican people, uh, even in Mexico City. All the talking is done, the press conferences are over. All that's left to do now is weigh in and fight on Saturday. Thank you guys for hanging out with us all week. Boxy fans, we hope you enjoyed it. My name is Edward Portillo and I'll see you on Cinco de Mayo Saturday.